morning. So, today I'm going to talk about what is the extent that your true haters in the real world will go to to destroy you, make you weak, and try to ruin your life. Will they lie? Will they mix your words up and lie and say you said this and you're, you're going to do this and he said he does this and he's going to do this and this and that, which is really no proof. Do they do that? Anybody ever been in situations like that? Well, I'm going to tell you guys something. Yes, they will. And they will out of jealousy towards you because they may be scared of you for no reason at all. You've given them no reason to be scared of you. Strong people like myself, and I am extremely strong, all around strong, and you people know this, and people know this when I walk around. Right? And that's a fact. I do not push my weight around. I'm not a bully. I could say things on the internet. No, no, it's just for entertainment purposes only, that stuff. And mostly all my negative stuff I've deleted. Because I have to take everything with a grain of salt. But in real life, I'm not going to go out and threaten anybody. Just because someone calls me on or something, anything, calls me a name or whatever, I'm not going to punch them in the head. I'm not going to threaten them either. I'm not. Not at this point in my life. Maybe when I was in my 20s, I was a lot different. Very much so. Then I probably would have, who knows what I would have done. I've hurt many people in the past, long time ago. Mentally, I've hurt them. And I've hurt people physically in the past. And I've answered to that. I've answered to all my, my bad choices in life. They keep me, they keep me home at night, they keep me good, they are love for me, they show me love, so I can't be angry all the time, I can't be angry anytime, because they'll be scared of me, my animals, my pets, my girls, I love them, and I don't want them scared of me, it's not a good feeling when people are scared of you. All my life, people have been out to, to basically get me. I've been in so many fights. Been provoked. Now, a while ago, I had to leave an apartment because people above me were drug addicts. And they were up all night walking back and forth from the bathroom to the sink, smoking weed in their place, which they're not supposed to, smoking cigarettes, which was coming in my apartment, because I like to leave my window open when I sleep. At least a crack anyway, just to get some fresh air in there, because it's nice to have nice fresh air when you're sleeping, so I don't get, I get kind of warm when I sleep. So, I had to leave an apartment. Now, I posted some stuff on my channel about some people. And they read this and they seen it. 
And all of a sudden, boom, getting all these negative comments like, oh, you're going to get hit with a hammer in your head and all that kind of stuff. They're going to bust up my truck and all kinds of shit like that. Just threatening, threatening, threatening me. See, guys like me, my lawyer told me the guys like me are all in the penitentiaries under a controlled matrix system. And that's the truth. Most of the guys out here now are just wimps. Controlled by women. Women pay their bills. Or they go to the mailbox for their money. Well, I've never been like that. I have had women help me in my life. But I always strive to do good and learn trade. Now I'm a master mason and I'm still learning all the time. Because there's always something to learn in life. If you think you know it all, then you're a fucking idiot. So I'm getting all these threats, and this is a couple years ago. So this is when I went back home for a while, and I wasn't—I was just was sick of it here because of that certain things, and just uh, just driving around here is like I don't know. I'm gonna make a video and show you guys that I just bought a GoPro, so I'm gonna get a good SIM card for it, and I can put it in the front of my dash just to—I'll make a video just driving just to the gym just to show you how. People drive here and just how, what they do. They don't single, they pull in front of you. They don't even look where they're going. They're probably stoned and drunk or whatever. And then they end up going like this. They give you the finger here. It's like, what the fuck? I don't understand. Where I'm from, you can't give anybody the finger. If you give somebody the finger, like in Ontario and Toronto's area, man, they're going to chase you down. Oh, who knows what they'll do. So now when they're driving like dingbacks, watch this. I go like this. So they move over because they're going slow in the fast lane. Driving beside each other. Ugh. It's insane. I just don't understand. It's like they don't even look in the rearview mirror at all. So I'm like this. Hello. Then they move over, right? And then I know what they're doing. When I pass them, they're like this. Mm. So I go like this. As soon as I pass them, I'm like this. I drive right past them like this. I don't even look at them anymore. So I know that even pisses them off worse, right? Because I know they're giving me the finger because they do it. Nine times out of the ten, they're giving me the finger. Oh, some people are stupid and they don't even know it. Or they just don't have experience. And they got all the new on their cars these days here, man. They got to put a new, a newbie sticker, like a new driver sticker on their car, which they should, right? Anyways, so I'm getting all these threats. So I was going back home anyway. So I went back home. I drove back home. And I said, listen, you guys are supposed to move me apartments. And then I'll pay you rent. I'll pay you guys. So they're like this. Okay, yeah, I got an awesome apartment on the other side of the other building. It's facing, oh, man, it was facing, like, the trees and everything like that. Nobody in front of me. Because these apartments, like, here, not this one here, but this one I was in, it was... Oh, you can see everybody, man. Like, it's like the apartment in front of you. It's like everyone's got the view of the apartments. It's like, man, fucking bullshit, right? So you can't even have your uh, windows open, right? You can't walk around your underwear or nothing in your own place. There's no privacy there. It's just it was freaking pathetic. And I was paying like $1,500 a month for this place. Mind you, it had a washer and dryer in there and a dishwasher and a double sink, which was nice. So I moved out and I didn't pay rent for a month or whatever it was. And then my ex-girlfriend at the time, she came in and cleaned the place up. What I did though, I, I made a mess before I leave. I dumped fucking syrup, molasses, everything, everywhere, all over the place. I, Cause I didn't care about my deposit. I didn't, I didn't give a fuck. I was just leaving. Right? So I made a mess in the place. I didn't do any damage like, to, like to the walls or anything like that. I didn't punch holes or kick holes in the wall or anything, but. I made a mess before I leave, so then they would have to pay somebody to clean it up. 
So I left a lot of stuff there, and then my ex-girlfriend came in, and she, I told her, okay, yeah, when I was leaving, she wanted to come and get the stuff out of there. And I was like, okay. You know what she did? She cleaned the whole place up, man. She cleaned everything. It must have took her hours, like I swear, forever, right, just to do it. She tells me, I cleaned it up totally. And I was like, did you see the mess I made? She's like, yeah. <laughs> she cleans it all. So, because the place was clean, I'm entitled to my $1,500 security deposit back. So I called them up. I go, hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, did you leave the apartment? I said, yeah, I left the apartment. And I said, where's my, how do I get my security deposit back? And they're like, oh, it's in the mail. I said, it's in the mail. To where? To your old address. And I was like, you guys sent it to my old address before I moved there. I was like, okay. So it's going to come back to you, obviously, because I don't live there. Unless I can get there and go in the mailbox and try to find the fucking the envelope, right, which it wasn't even coming anyway, because they lied, and I knew it, There's, it's in the mail, whenever someone says that, it's in the mail, it's like, bullshit, fuck, so, whatever, I just forgot about it for a while, because I was leaving that apartment anyway, and I'm back, back in my homeland, the real world, actually, it's kind of better on east, east from here, it's nice out here and all that, but they don't treat the people good here, it's, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of homeless people here, and it's just, they give them free drugs, and I don't know what they're trying to do. It's like, you know, that's our tax money. Why don't you guys help them out? Give them places to live. You're giving all these other people free places and geared income places. I've been paying so much taxes all my life. They take off like almost 500 bucks a week off my check every week. <laughs> And it goes t towards nothing that I agree with. This country, I don't even like it anymore. This country sucks. It's a nice country, but just the rules now, it's just changing, right? And all these people are going along with it because they're getting their money out of the mailbox. Oh, I'll get my money out of the mailbox. I better stay with this guy, you know? Because they're just freeloaders, most people here. <laughs> well, I didn't say most, but... You guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of freeloaders now. You don't see many young people working the trades anymore. You see a few, but not many. Not like there used to be. People just don't want to work these days. They'd rather just stay home and smoke weed. And play video games. And go to sleep all day. Oh, play video games at night time. It's a pussy world now. Run by women. They just want to make everyone pussies. That have no pussies. They may change that one, right? A lot of people are changing themselves now, aren't they? So, I call them up and I'm like this. Hey, I noticed... It was on one of my credit ratings or something, the rent. And I was like, what the frig is this shit? So I called up the company. They would ignore me. I said, where's my security deposit? And I told the lady on the phone, well, the reason I left that place because people were threatening me with hammers and all kinds of weapons and all kinds of things there. So I was like, well, frig. And they even called the cops on me, actually. The RCMP come to my place and left a note. And then they phoned me. So I answered the phone. I'm like, what's up? And they're like, Oh, hey, is there, is there, what's going on there? Everyone's saying, I was like, just listen, I'm being threatened with hammers, and I got comments on my YouTube channel from them, and they're threatening me, so I'm going to protect myself, all right? Anybody comes up to me, and they try to attack me, it's going to be a very, very hard time for them, because I'm not going to be nice at all. I go right for the fucking throat or the eyes or I'll fucking kick their fucking balls in so fucking fast it'll be pathetic. I don't even care. 
And I told the RCMP officer that. And I said, listen, I'll protect myself with the full extent of my ability. Okay, you guys already know I have martial arts on my record. You guys know that. When you guys pull me over, it says that. And they're like, yes, yes, yes. I said, if anyone comes up to me, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to not get hurt by them. Okay? I cannot, I won't kick them on the ground because then I'm in trouble, right? If I smash someone's freaking head right in, right? And then they fall on the ground. Boom, and they die. Well, as long as I don't fucking kick them again on the ground, I'm okay. If they come at me and I hit them, that's, that's, their, that's self-defense. They can charge me all they want to for manslaughter or whatever. In a couple of years, I'll get off. I don't even care because that's self-defense. And I know people, too, that have killed people by it, like, that way, and they got off. They try to charge them up and everything, but it all got sorted out in the end. And I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want to hurt anybody, but anybody comes up to me, I'm going to literally, I'm going to choke them right out or whatever, guaranteed, right? And that's a fact. I told the officer that. He goes, yes, yes, you're right, yeah, yeah. And I said, that's right, I'm right. I said, I got, they're threatening me with weapons. They come at me with a weapon. Well, whatever. They need guns to come after me because there's not many guys like me around. Okay, most guys like me are in the penitentiaries. And I'm not like those guys because I have control over myself. Okay? But all the strong people, they're mostly not on the streets anymore. Okay? Because they don't have control. Because they've been trying to suppress them. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. Crush them down. Right? Weaken them. Right? Weaken them. And that's what they try to do to you, to me. And they've done that to my brother, and they're doing it to my brother right now. I, don't, I haven't even heard from my brother for for a while. Last thing I remember is the cops tased him. He was telling me, they just, he was riding his bike at nighttime. They pulled him over. They tased him big time for nothing. They left him on the street. <laughs> and then they're banging on his fucking door. I got videos. He sent me videos of them banging on his fucking door. He's got no warrants for his arrest or nothing. They're, they're banging on his fucking door, like harassing him. It's like, what the fuck? Right? So he's telling me all kinds of stuff. And my brother, he's been charged for murder before, man. And attempted murder and everything. And he got charged for murdering a guard in jail. He said he didn't do it. And I believe him, you know. I'm not going to call my brother a liar. Right? They said, oh, he did it because of the way he walked, and it was during the riots and all that. And Yeah, my brother caught, was in riots and, and, and stuff in the prisons. He'd spent over seven years in prisons in Ontario, Millhaven, all kinds of places. J-Unit, places that you will never even want to go. You guys would shit your fucking pants. And that's a fact right there. So, like my lawyer said, all the guys like me, they put away because they're scared of us. And I have had control since I was young like that because when I was young, I didn't have control. And then they tried to show you this is what's going to happen to you. I was in children's aid when I was young as an uncontrollable child. I spent a few years in YO. I spent... Another few years in YO after I was 16. And I spent a couple years in, uh, in jail. I never went to the penitentiary, but I was in the big jails in Montreal for a while. When I was young, I used to steal cars. And then a bunch of stuff. Not before I even thought about being a bricklayer. I started laying bricks when I was 25, but before that I was just fucking uncontrollable and if I would have stayed in that lifestyle I would be dead or I would have been doing life in jail because I had no concept of things I would have hurt somebody I would have even uh, done worse too because I never really thought about it I never really cared and I don't want to live like that where you don't care because I do care I care what happens to me I care what happens to people I care what happens to People I love. I will protect anybody I love with my life. This this world's just temporary to me. And I believe that, that this is only a small little fraction of the eternity that we're all gonna be in. And 
I already know for a fact about that. I have inner feelings about that. And if I'm wrong about that, oh well, does it doesn't really matter because no one's gonna have any thoughts about it when you're dead. But if it is true, then what? Hmm. This little piece of speck of sand in the sea compared to all the sands in the sea and it will not equal eternity. So I called him up. And I was talking to a lady and I explained to her why I left the place. And I said I was being threatened with hammers and whatnot. And I told her, yeah, I talked to the police because they called the cops on me. And I said, well, they would need um, guns to actually come and get me or weapons because nobody's just going to come and take me. It's impossible. Because it's just the fact of it that I will just do whatever I got to do, okay, to protect myself from somebody. And it never happens. No one... People always bark. It's worse than their bite. Unless they're coming to get you, they come with a few people and they're going to fucking shoot you or something like that. Which, what are you going to do about that, right? I don't have, like, up here we don't really have guns. There's lots of guns around and they can be got, but it's not like the U.S., right? We can have a gun just right here, you know? Somebody's coming and you, boom, you fucking shoot them, right? Like, oh, he's on my property. Get off my property, motherfucker. No? Boom! You can fucking shoot them down there. Can't you in Texas and places like that? Fucking done, right? So I told her all this stuff. Like, the, they would need, like, the... So then I talked to Doug, this other guy. His name is fucking Doug, whatever. Fuck him, right? I didn't want to say any names, but I did. And I'm not editing any kind of video. I'm not editing my videos. So Doug, this guy gets on the phone. Did you threaten her? And I'm like, this, what? Did I threaten her? No. What are you talking about? I just explained what happened in the past. That's all. He's like, oh, okay. I said, I would never threaten anyone over the phone. What do you think, I'm stupid? Like, come on. That's the worst thing you do is threaten people over the phone, right? Or th on text. I'm going to do it. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? All the proof is right there, right? And I even recorded this conversation. To protect myself because I already know how it is because I'm just a text guy. I'll text. When someone says, call me if they're mad, I'm, I don't call them. I just text. No, I only text so I can protect myself because people lie. Now, the, I'm on the phone with this liar and he says, okay. And I said, listen, you guys put this thing on my credit rating. It says I owe you money. And he says, well, yeah, this is the, when you didn't pay the rent, you know, I was like this. Well, I didn't pay because you guys weren't moving me places, and the people above me are drug addicts, and the manager that you have working is harassing me on my YouTube channel, the manager of the place. <laughs> and then she was, because I made videos on them, right? Right. So, he's like, well, she doesn't work here anymore. I said, well, you fired that friggin' cunt hole? I didn't say it like that. But I said, well, you fired her? Oh, why? Oh, whatever. He didn't even say. Obviously, she's just an idiot. And it was just what I was saying. The whole time. Because I'll say shit the way it is. I don't really care. I, I don't give a shit. Okay? What I say. If I say something, I fucking mean things what I say. So I said, listen, I'm coming into some money soon. My father passed away. I've already cashed in insurance policies that he left me. And I have inheritance coming. And, well, we can negotiate something. I said, my security deposit, first of all, you said it was in the mail. <laughs> and then he says, oh, no, we were awarded that. And I was like, oh, so what would you, so you lied. Okay, see, they lie. It's like people lie. I just can't stand it. I hate liars. And the system protects these liars. So... Last thing we said and we talked about was, okay, I'm coming in some money and uh, we can negotiate something so I can get this off my credit rating because I don't want to owe anybody anything on my credit rating. And it only showed up on something. My credit rating's still almost seven. It's not like big time, but it's still in the good 
in the good sign, in the good market. Now, he said, okay, yeah, as soon as you get some uh, whatever, call me up and we'll figure it out. And I was like, okay, thanks, Doug. Right on, thank you, you know. You know, I don't like to burn my bridges here. Plus, he owns a lot of apartments and whatnot, so we never know if you need a place, you can get an apartment, right? So we left it at that, I left, right? And so I'm just, whatever, no problem. So I'm just thinking, okay, so this is back in August. So around, what is it, December 31st, I get a phone call that says, uh, Sandwich Municipality, something like this, what the fuck? So I never really answered the phone to that kind of shit anyway. So I answer the phone, hello? Hi, is this so-and-so? I'm like this. Well, who's this? And he goes, oh, it's the police department. I'm like this. What the fuck? And I go, you have a warrant for your arrest right now. And I'm like this. What? For what? And like this. I'm like, no, for what? And they go, oh, for dodo, so-and-so, dodo, threatening. So this is in August. And then December, they called me up and said I've had a warrant since August. I've been pulled over in between those times. He says, oh, yes, you did get pulled over, and, uh, yeah, we were notified. And Okay, so why didn't you guys arrest me then when I got pulled over? Oh, no, no. But I didn't say it, like, meanly or anything because I was just trying to be humble, right? Because I am humble. And he goes, oh, you sound like a nice guy, he says. Oh, yeah, and I explained to him, and he says, oh, yeah, that sounds kind of reasonable, he says, okay. He says, okay, come on in or I can come and pick you up. I said, well, I had a beer already. And then one beer, because I drank for like a couple days. like Actually, about a week, I started drinking a little bit. And I was like, ah, fuck this shit. I don't even need it. So I stopped drinking again back in, uh, I quit in May. And then I started it up in uh, December a little bit. And then I quit after that. On uh, New Year's, I quit again. So I haven't drank since New Year's. I only drank for a week or two just to have a few beers, basically. And it was like, I just found it expensive and a waste of time. Like, I didn't even want to drink no more. And I haven't smoked weed for a long time, so I'm done with that. Beer, I might drink the odd beer here and there, you know, socially. But uh, I'm not going to get uh, start the, the habit again of doing it. And I quit easily, so it didn't even bother me to quit. And I feel... You know, I feel better from not smoking weed, I'll tell you that. That's the worst fucking thing, like smoking. Fuck. So, he says, I says, well, one beer is okay. And I was like, well, I'll wait a couple hours. So I go down there and I go, okay, I'll be there in a few hours. Because he called me in, I forget what time he called me, 4 o'clock or something. So I went down there around 6 o'clock. I drove there. And I went in there, hey, what's going on? He says, Oh, hi, how you doing? Come on in here. So I went in the back right there, and they put me in this room. Past the jail cells. And he goes, which you never should go down to the police station anyway, man. Because once you go in there, you're going into a lion's den usually. And then they fucking, chances are you're not even getting out of there. They just end up going to jail, and then you have to go do a show cause to get out of jail. Because they try to keep you in fucking jail, like. So always let them come pick you up, usually. like I would say, your lawyer will say that. Or you go down with a lawyer. But I went down by myself again, like which I probably shouldn't have. But it didn't. It worked out okay because I went down there. And he goes, oh, yes, yeah. so we talked to the Crown. And he said, there's not enough evidence to charge you with threatening. And I just, well, I didn't fucking threaten them, I said. These people are lying. I said what I said happened in the past. I was being threatened. And then they already called the cops on me, and I already dealt with the cops about that. And then, that was a couple years ago. I called the guy up for my security deposit, I said. And he goes, oh yeah, that sounds reasonable. So what they're going to do is, um, they want to put a peace bond on you. A peace bond. See what I'm trying to talk about? They try to just <clears throat> control you in your fucking life here, man. And it's like, fuck off, man. I'm so sick of that control. Ooh. I always try to control the guys like me. See that? So now I got to go to court. Well, I already went to court and they said, oh, do you agree with this? I said, no, they're lying. Why would I threaten anybody? Okay, so you're disputing this? I said, fucking right, I'm disputing this. So I got to go soon to court and I'm disputing this. 
Because they're lying. Why should I agree to a peace bond? Where you can't, uh, I don't know what they're, I can't talk to them anymore. They owe me a security deposit. I can't fucking even call them. I can't even call them now for my security deposit. See what I'm talking about? It's pathetic. Right? So I feel like just fucking leaving. Okay? And then fuck it because it's not even a fucking charge. And they can give me a warrant for fucking leaving and a failure to appear to court. And I'll never come back here again. They're not going to bring me back from fucking 5,000 kilometers away for a fucking peace bond, are they? No, they're just going to say, no, stay out of here. Otherwise, but even if I come back, fucking failure to appear, what? Fucking 30 days in fucking jail? Oh, well, I can go fucking do 30 days in jail for a failure to appear. Because I would be guilty of a failure to appear, wouldn't I? But I'm not going to agree to something that I didn't fucking do. And they can all fuck off. Oh, you fucking weak fucking liars. You can all fuck off. I'm representing myself when I go to court. Because I'm not paying a thousand dollars for fucking bullshit. Right? just goes to show you what people will do, okay, to get you in trouble or suppress you. They will lie. They will cheat. They actually said, I got the disclosure, it says, he says that he has, he's going to come here with hammers and he owns guns, they said. <laughs> Fuck, I don't own guns. Why would I say that? Why would I even threaten some lady? Like, fucking, I don't threaten anybody. It's pathetic. So this is all going to come out. And it's not a charge. It's just a stupid peace bond. So it just goes to show you what people do in this world. They will lie to you, lie about you just to fucking hurt you. Okay? Because they're actually scared of you and jealous of you. Because I've seen this guy, you see me, and you just feel... They're just out of shape people, man. Like, they just... They're like the same age as me and they let themselves just fall. <laughs> even the women too, they're like the same age as me and even younger these ones. And they're just like, they look old, man. Like they look, they're 40, but they look fucking over 50, right? They don't take care of themselves. They're just these fucking fat fuckers behind a fucking desk. And I don't say that to them, but I, that's what I'm thinking, right? And I don't tell everyone what I'm thinking. That's the worst thing you can do is tell people what you think in the world. So keep your thoughts to yourself. Okay? Peace, everybody.